Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. Hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I am Brady White, your host. Welcome. Ah, a beautiful day in San Giovanni Rotondo. A day that I want to share with you. Well, let's get right to the show. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, people, it's a little unusual, but uh, this group is here from New York. Uh, nice group. It is small. It's private. Uh, it's the kind of thing, you know, if you don't want to travel with a large group, uh, this is perfect for you. And the fellow happens to know the people in New York uh, that I know. Uh, this is John. Hello, John. How are you? Yeah. Hi. Now, this is not your first time in San Giovanni Rotondo. No. No. You've been here a number of times? Several times, yeah. Um, John, I, I'm impressed with the idea that it's such a small group. What is the name of the organization that, um, you know, organizes this and puts it together. It's Franciscan Spirit Tours and we work with several different Franciscan communities. We try to focus on creating smaller experiences so that people have a chance to really get to know each other, become more intimate in the group setting, and also to really focus more on spirituality and the pilgrimage of Center. Uh -huh. um, and uh, when you say it's a small what areas uh, of the country, well anyone from the world can contact you, is that sure. correct? Yes. Sure. Uh, but in America especially, uh, since I'm an American, I want to know, uh, how do they get in contact with you? Uh, they can go to our website, franciscanspirittours.com. The New York number is 646-861-3634. And please repeat that, John. Sorry. Uh, 646-861-3634, or they can send us an email, uh, info, I-N-F-O, at franciscanspirittours.com. Info at franciscanspirittours.com. People, you hear it? I'm going to have them repeat it one more time. Get a In pen. Info, I-N-F-O, at franciscanspirittours.com. There you go. But you know, people, you know, when I'm doing things, sometimes I leave the words out. So this is a good one. You have it there. But again, he gave you a phone number you could always call. Uh, John, it's not only San Giovanni Rotondo, um, but I know big devotees to Padre Peel. Uh, sure. Are you uh, familiar with the church of uh, uh, St. John the Baptist in New York? Absolutely. I used to work with the Capuchins for five years. Oh, did you? And the garden with the Padre Pio garden? Yes. They have, uh, I think, a glove and they have, a, uh, I think, a sock. They have some relics there. Mm -hmm. uh, John, uh, it is not only for uh, Padre Pio. Tell us some of the other areas that you visit, not only in Europe, I understand. You go actually... We go to the Holy Land. You go to the Holy Land. We go to uh, Guadalupe for the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Oh my goodness. Uh, Lourdes, Fatima. Uh, we go to Poland and Prague. We, do a, we follow the footsteps of John Paul II. Uh, Franciscan Italy, uh, Greece, Turkey, uh, and Ireland, Catholic Ireland. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, John is... The main ones. We do special ones as well. And this is uh, during the entire year. Uh, I mean, it happens yes. during the entire well, we year. We usually go in the fall and in the spring, and then also private groups. We have more private groups in between, depending on what? the schedule. Oh, so even a larger group, if they wanted to contact you, a larger group you can put together oh, for absolutely, them. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, some people just want to go. But this idea that you have shown me today, having such a small group, it works. Uh, well, it well, works. Ideally, we like to have like between 10 and 20 people. But we like we try to avoid. We, we we do have them periodically that are groups that are larger. But we try to keep them between 10 and 20 people. I think it works better. But sometimes there's always one or two that are lagging. It. Uh, you have great patience, uh, I'm sure, John. Uh, this is true. I mean, you know, it over with time. all of us, yeah, 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 it changes all the time. Uh, tell me on um, this particular trip. I'm interested. Uh, where are the places? Or what have you seen already, John? Uh, this group they wanted to go to Rome, so we restarted in Rome, and then we're here in San Giovanni. Uh, from here, we'll go to uh, Bari. Uh, we're going to take the overnight ferry to Dubrovnik, and then we're going to have five days in Medjugorje for Easter. Oh, uh, uh, Holy uh, Good Friday, Holy uh, Saturday, and Easter Sunday. 
So we had Palm Sunday at the at uh, St. Peter's in Rome, and we'll have uh, Easter Sunday in Medjugorje. Oh, uh, now you mentioned Bari. Uh, are you going to the Basilica of St. Nicholas? We will. Yes. Okay, very good. And then when you go to Dubrovnik, that leads you over to um, to Medjugorje. Yes. Yeah. About three hours in Medjugorje. Yes. Um, Dubrovnik. Do you stay in the uh, Do you stay the night? No, we just spend the day in Dubrovnik and then we continue on to Medjugorje. A beautiful city, that Dubrovnik. It is gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous that's the one with the castle and the the water, the yes. ocean right there. Yeah, I have been very, and now of course a little different um, change of power and all that, so it's a little more tranquil to be there. Sure. No bombs going off. It's and, been a long time since there was a war. So uh, yes, like I, ten years ago. Okay, yeah, and I think the last time I was there was close to 20 years. Um, John, in closing, um, are you visiting Monte San Angelo? Yes, we're going this afternoon. Oh, so really, you actually know all the places and you really cover everything. Uh, actually, behind you, we had the Pilgrim office here in San Giovanni Rotondo. You, um, I met you in the English office, so yes. you put the people together, you get them into the English office, and you even had a private mass we by did. Padre Mlindo. We were very fortunate, thanks to uh, thanks to the help of all of you. Yes. Ah, uh, so Padre uh, Padre Mundo is really uh, just a great guy, and he travels the world, you know, with the relics. Sure. But here, um, just like with yourself, this Pilgrim Office has literature in um, English, other languages, of course, and the people can always visit the uh, Pilgrim Office. Sure. Let me walk you uh, back out. Let me out. say also, just say that because you mentioned English, we actually we we do both English and Spanish. We've done Spanish groups to the Holy Land and also Guadalupe. So we, uh, we try to accommodate as many languages as we can. But those are the two that we've done. Those are the two that we've done. And, and certainly we do regularly. The office, the main office, is out of New York. We're, we're based in Manhattan. Yeah. But um, again, San Francisco, can, uh, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Iowa, wherever sure. they're from in the world, they just uh, you meet at a certain place, maybe at an airport. Is that how you do it? Oh, it, it depends on where the group is from. I mean, most of our pilgrimages that we run regularly, that we have in the fall and in the spring, are out of New York. But when we have groups from other places, that we run them out of other. I think we have a group from San Antonio right now that's going on its way to the Holy Land. Oh my God! Uh, so you know, it could be any any departure city, depending on where the people are located. Gee, it sounds like it's a great uh, situation, great setup you people have. Let me say, uh, I'm going to say goodbye to your people. They're heading down to the um, bus, and then I guess they're going to go to eat. Is that correct? We're going to wow. have dinner. Yeah. Three oh. meals and a bed to sleep in. Wow, you well, provide. What you ask for, right? Well, you can't ask for too much more. Let me say goodbye thank to your you, people. Michael. Thank you for all your help, and you're wonderful. Oh, please, please. Uh, people, uh, thank you for uh, visiting San Giovanni Rotondo. Thank you so much for great thank And we you look for uh, forward to the next time we see you. Uh, maybe thank you return you. to San Giovanni Rotondo. Did you have a good time in San yes. Giovanni? Yes. A spiritual yes. time? Yes. 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 Padre Peel's touched you, huh? Yes. Okay, so God bless you and have safe travels to you. Enjoy the day and uh, especially at Monte San Angelo, your next stop, okay? Thank God you. bless you. Thank Be good. God Be good. Bye bye. God bless you. We are in Rome and I am going to make a visit to the Chiesa del Gesù, the Church of Jesus, where the chapel of Madonna della Strata, Our Lady of the Way. This is the chapel where Maria Pyle came, prayed a novena, asking for help from Our Lady to find a spiritual director. After that, Maria Pyle ended up in San Giovanni Rotondo, and found Padre Pio. So we'll go in, we'll say a prayer, and we will visit with Our Lady of the Way. The two tall candles that you're looking at have been lit for you and for your intentions. I am here in the Church of Chiesa de Gesù, the Church of Jesus here in Rome, and I am in the chapel of Santa Maria della Strata, St. Mary of the Way. This is the chapel that Maria Pyle prayed a novena to Our Lady of the Way, that she may find a spiritual director. After her novena was complete, she went to San Giovanni Rotondo, she met Padre Pio, and she found her spiritual director. So please now join me as we say the Hail Mary for your intentions 
for all your loved ones that you may find your way. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Our Lady of the Way, pray for us. St. Peel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. A beautiful chapel dedicated to Our Lady. Here is our Mary as a child with St. Anne. Beautiful. This looks into the old church, uh, to the main uh, church, I'm sorry, the Church of Jesus. Here we have beautiful the Christ child, and we see her in the arms of Mary, the angels looking. This is the entrance that you walk through to come into the chapel of Our Lady of the Way. And here again is our Blessed Mother greeting her elderly mother, Saint Anne. And here, beautiful painting of Mary and Joseph, their marriage. God the Father above, the angels, very beautiful. And here, the statue of Saint Anne and our Blessed Mother. If you are in Rome and you are near the monument that they refer to as the wedding cake, it is the monument to Victorio Emmanuel. It is just two blocks away heading towards the Vatican. The name of the church, Chiesa del Gesù, and the chapel is Santa Maria della Strata, Madonna della Strata, Lady of the Way. God bless you, and may Our Lady of the Way guide you on this road of life. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. For all your intentions now, please join me in the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. St. Pio, pray for us. St. Francis, pray for us. St. Michael Archangel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Well, you know, that power of the Hail Mary, Padre Pio knew it. And by interceding through our Blessed Mother, Padre Pio knew that it was difficult for Jesus to deny his mother anything. So, we pray through our Blessed Mother, asking her to intercede for us. Now, remember, you can always contact us at Padre Pio Info at AOL.com. Again, the email, Padre Pio Info at AOL.com. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye.